Welcome to the Police Accountability Podcast. Brought to you by CopBlock.org. CopBlock is a decentralized project supported by a diverse group of individuals united by their shared goals of police accountability, education of individual rights, and the sharing of effective tactics to utilize while filming police. A man shot in the back by a police officer received a $225,000 judgment in Prince George's County, Maryland. According to witnesses, the shooting was unjustified. The Washington Post states that the man was also awarded an additional $1,000 judgment for being falsely arrested on charges of assaulting an officer. The Seattle Times reports that at least three Seattle, Washington police officers are the subject of an excessive force lawsuit over an incident captured on the department's surveillance cameras. The film shows a mentally ill man, who was accidentally released from jail, being repeatedly assaulted. The man was punched, kneed, beaten with a baton, and tasered by officers while he was picking up his belongings from the department's evidence building. Police say the man was trying to attack them with a screwdriver, but the video shows otherwise. In Long Beach, California, police detectives have arrested Officer Benjamin De Los Santos and former Officer Derek Dinsmore for grand theft of weapons. According to the Long Beach Press-Telegram, the arrests stem from another Long Beach police officer who had numerous weapons turned over to him. However, the department alleges that not all the weapons were placed into evidence. At first, it was believed that Officer Damian Ramos was acting alone, But last week, these two additional officers were added to the list. De Los Santos, a six-year employee, was booked for receiving stolen property, conspiracy, grand theft of firearms, embezzlement, and circulation of a false document. He and Dinsmore are being held on $20,000 bail. An officer from the Provo, Utah Police Department has come forward saying that his department covered up a potential misdemeanor committed by Spanish Fork Police Chief Rosenbaum. The chief was allegedly involved in a shoplifting incident at a Dillard store in the Provo Town Center Mall last June. Local KSL-TV received a video showing the potential shoplifting caught on tape. What was shown on the video did not match police reports. As far as looking further into the matter, the police department considers the case closed. The police source, who came forward to ensure that the public got a chance to see the video surveillance, said that the case should be investigated further, whether by an outside agency or post, the Peace Officer Standard and Training, which certifies law enforcement officers. Wayne County, Michigan deputies and Detroit, Michigan police are being accused of staging a raid on a club without justification in order to boost revenue. The police were planning on using civil asset forfeiture laws in an attempt to pad their dwindling budget. Detroit News states that the police wrongfully seized dozens of vehicles outside the club, including one car that was parked legally by someone who wasn't even at the club. Officers were also accused of wrongfully arresting patrons, and performing illegal strip searches on the females. Finally, we would like to congratulate Cop Block contributor Adam Miller and Carlos Miller of the Photography is Not a Crime blog for surviving assault by violent security guards with guns and badges while trying to videotape outside the Miami metro station. For the shocking video and to follow this and many other stories, visit copblock.org. From Phoenix, Arizona, this is Zoe. And this is Nick. And now a word from our sponsor. And stay tuned for more liberty-oriented programming here on LRN.FM.